and I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books, according to their works. Revelation 20, verse 12. The scriptures declare, God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. There is not a shadow of doubt about this matter. Sin may be concealed, denied, covered up from father, mother, wife, children, and associates. No one but the guilty actors may cherish the least suspicion of the wrong, but it is laid bare before the intelligences of heaven. The darkness of the darkest night, the secrecy of all deceptive arts, is not sufficient to veil one thought from the knowledge of the eternal. The Lord beheld Adam and Eve as they took of the forbidden tree. In their guilt, they fled from his presence and hid themselves, but God saw them. They could not cover the shame. They could not cover their shame from his eyes. When Cain slew his brother, he thought to hide his crime by denial of his deed. But the Lord said, The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. All sin, unrepented of and unconfessed, will remain upon the books of record. It will not be blotted out. It will not go beforehand to judgment to be canceled by the atoning blood of Jesus. The accumulated sins of every individual will be written with absolute accuracy and the penetrating light of God's law will try every secret of darkness. In proportion to the light, to the opportunities, and the knowledge of God's claims upon them will be the condemnation of the rejecters of God's mercy. The day of final settlements is just before us. The Bible presents the law of God as a perfect standard by which to shape the life and character The only perfect example of obedience to its precepts is found in the Son of God, the Savior of lost mankind. There is no stain of unrighteousness upon him, and we are bidden to follow in his steps.